Hi guys, I'm Liviu and welcome back to my channel. This is my usual line. Today I have on my bench an uh, all-in-one board for Pimax Tiny Hawk, if I'm not mistaken. And this is not working and we have some parts heating up, if I'm not mistaken, this one. I took some uh, wires, so this is our negative. And I will use a yellow one for my positive. I will take my power supply. If I'm not mistaken, these types of boards are limited to 2S. So let's set it up on 5 volts. I can see 130 milliampers of current draw and Let's spray it with some alcohol to see if something is heating up because uh, when I first tested this something was heating up. So nothing on this side. Let's see if on the other side something is heating up. So let's spray it with some alcohol and power it up. Nothing is heating up. But it doesn't work. Do we have some voltages on this board? Usually when you have issues like this I'm going to suspect that uh, because these two caps are laid out like this, this side will be the positive and this side would be the negative. And yep, I'm alright. So I have here 5 volts and it's not 5 volts, it's 1.9 volts. So that's quite fishy. First and foremost, this diode here looks to be damaged this burnt point here doesn't look to be normal so i'm going to take that out nothing else looks to be weird here these mosfets all look to be okay i don't like this uh, glue leftovers or what they are but i i want to take them out of there because i don't i i, I just don't like them let me scrape this out. I guess this was some kind of glue here, but yeah. Sometimes glue is a good idea, but sometimes it's just it's just nuts to use it. I mean, I don't know if this board comes like this from the factory with this glue here. But, yeah, I'm not a fan. And it's actually all over. Even between these two MOSFETs. Okay, so that's out. And here. It's it looks like some kind of epoxy, but I cannot be sure of that. Yeah, it looks better now. Okay, so on this side, I said that this diode here or something is not okay. I mean, I can go inside it. First, I'm going to take this out. Okay, I have no idea what type of thing this was. I will let it cool down and power it up and see if I have the same current consumption. I will turn it over to the other side and see if something is um, wrong over there too or not. Okay, so I let it cool down and uh, I will just power it on now. Okay, so that uh, transistor had issues, definitely had issues. I don't know what it is, but I will need to find out what type of thing that was. Now I will plug it on the PC 
and see if it gets recognized or not yep I already see the COM port let's connect to it yep the gyro works also okay so we had one part there which looked to be a diode or it could be a transistor for a buzzer or something like that we just need to clean a bit to see if we can um, spot the the traces here let's measure it with the multimeter i will place my negative lead on the negative of the pcb and see if we have voltages on this uh, pads here i have 3.2 volts or 3.3 actually here I have 0 volts and here we have, I don't know what we have here. Uh, let's see which is the ground. Uh, right now I'm in continuity mode. I will place my other lead on the ground and I suspect that this one is ground but I'm not sure. Yep, so this one is ground. This one is 3.3 volts. What is this? Let's see if we can spot where this leads. This is a very good way of learning out where things go. But I'm afraid that because this via is here, most definitely this pad goes to that via and that via goes to the other side of the PCB. To be able to measure it, I will use a wire and solder that wire to this pad like so and turn the board over to this side because we need to find out what broke that part and maybe we can guess what that part is. So this is the general area where the pad will uh, come out around here somewhere. So. One lead of my uh, multimeter will be on the wire I just solder on the other side. Because here is a via that goes here, I measured around here, nothing. We have another via here, which goes here. Goes here to where? Goes to S bus? Yep. We have here S bus written on the PCB. Here we have a minus of 5 volt and we have the S here. So I suspect that this one goes to that part. Okay guys, so after searching I found out that this was actually a transistor which is uh, composing together with some resistors here the S bus inverter circuit to fit in the MCU. I will need a simple transistor to place there and that's an NPN transistor BC547 maybe I don't know if I have something like this but let me search I found out uh, NPN transistor around my stuff Okay guys, so unfortunately my recording stopped, I ran out of space on my PC. But what I did after placing this uh, NPN transistor in place here was testing the board out, everything worked fine and decided to find a 0402 sized LED and place it here. I had the donor board which was this one, I took the LED out from here, was the only board that I had with 0402 LEDs. These are the, the smaller kind and I place it here and surprise, surprise, it works and it's a blue LED. I don't know for what that is. I know that this PCB has on the other side a uh, receiver, but um, 
yep no other leds are present on the board except these two so i don't know exactly what what uh, is wrong with them but at least this board is repaired and could be placed on a whoop and uh, rip some things around your home usually repairs like this are very efficient if you do them by yourself don't go and try and repair one at a local repair shop because they might charge you even double the cost of the board so it's a lot of work for them uh, and if you can make it at home it uh, will save you some bucks plus you will learn something too thank you very much again guys that you watched this video if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and don't forget to press that subscribe button for future content and if someone wants to donate their broken stuff to make more videos like this one please contact me over on social media thank you very much and till the next time bye